Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas Shabros from McDonald Realty, and today we're going to talk about the importance of price when selling your home. Here are three tips to consider. Number one, what type of real estate market currently exists where you live? If you're in Vancouver like me, it's a buyer's market for most types of properties. A buyer's market simply means that there's more supply for buyers to choose from. It also means that there's more competition for sellers. Thus, homes are taking longer to sell. If it's a seller's market, homeowners typically have a little bit more leniency of where to price their home. So you need to understand of what type of real estate market currently exists where you live. Number two, there is an abundance of data available. Buyers know what homes are being listed and selling for in their neighborhood. Even if they're not interested in buying or selling at this time, they know what's happening in their area. Anyone can do a search online or simply contact their local real estate agent to find out what's happening in the current real estate market. Some sellers have said to me in the past, we're not in a hurry to sell, so let's price it a little higher. If that's the case, in all honesty, you're just wasting your time. If you're serious about selling, you need to look at all the data available and make a decision from there to ultimately get your home sold. Number three relates to advertising and marketing. Price is your number one marketing tool. You can advertise on all the social media platforms. You can do drone photography. You can run print ads. You can spend an exuberant amount of money on TV and radio ads. You can do open houses every single weekend. You can even hire a pilot to fly a banner over the house every day. You get the picture. Even if you have a great home in a very desirable neighborhood, all the advertising in the world will only increase the number of views of your property, but ultimately sellers who choose to overprice their property are running the risk of receiving a low ball offer or sadly, no offer at all. Thank you so much for listening to today. I'm Nicholas Shabros with McDonald Realty. For future news and insights, everything relating to real estate, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.